This is the Mistress Carrie Situation Report for July 31st, 2024. Your daily music headlines, industry info, and everything rock. National treasure Dolly Parton is dealing with the fact that Dollywood parks and resorts experienced flash flooding over the weekend as a heavy thunderstorm hit the area in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. The park released a statement saying this afternoon, Sunday, July 28th, a strong thunderstorm caused flash flooding at Dollywood. With the assistance of Pigeon Forge police and fire departments, park personnel directed guests to safety during the storm. At this time, one minor injury has been reported. The statement concluded Dollywood is supporting guests whose vehicles were affected by the weather event and cleanup crews have been deployed. The park opened at noon on Monday, July 29th. Park officials continuing to assess conditions and updates are going to be posted on Dollywood social media pages. Blink-182 drummer Travis Barker is selling off his boarding pass from his recent trip to Australia for charity in recognition of him conquering his fear of flying. Barker developed the phobia after surviving a plane crash that killed four other people on board in 2008, including both pilots and two of Barker's close friends. He was left with third-degree burns over two-thirds of his body, spending three months in the hospital and having 26 surgeries. The only other survivor of the crash was Barker's friend DJ AM, who died of a drug overdose a year later. After the crash, Barker didn't get on a plane for 13 years and for that period was insistent on touring via boat. Now he's putting his boarding pass up for sale for $8,000 on the auction site Trophy. A cut of the proceeds will go to Lost But Not Forgotten, which helps support teenagers in crisis. CJ Pierce from Drowning Pool is talking about the progress of the songwriting sessions for the new music that the band is working on with returning lead singer Ryan McCombs. Saying, quote, we've got some new music ready to rock and roll. Finally, we keep making these promises, but the finished version of the first song just came in on our desk on Friday, so we should start pushing that out. Ryan McCombs said, we've got so many different opportunities in front of us touring wise. And then also because of the new music, as far as how we want to release it, we had a plan in place. We know how we wanted to go about it. We want to go strictly independent, but all of a sudden there's a hunger for it. So there's been all of these different little things coming to the table, different outlets, giving us different things to think about and chew about. He said a new live album from Fleetwood Mac has been announced. Rhino Records announced the new live album titled Mirage Tour 82. The album, per its namesake, is made up of tracks recorded during the band's Mirage Tour across several states in 1982. The 22-track album will include six previously unreleased recordings, which were tracked at the band's two concerts at the Forum in Los Angeles that year. The six songs include Don't Stop, Dreams, Oh Well, Never Going Back Again, Landslide, and Sarah. The album will be released on September 20th and available in three formats, digital, a two-CD pack, and a three-LP vinyl set. Country star Corey Marks recently hung out with Loudwire to talk about his brand new song, Make My Country Rock, which features other artists, including Travis Tritt, Sully Erna from Godsmack, and legendary Motley Crue guitarist Mick Mars. Saying, quote, that to me, those are like getting awards. Those are lifetime friendships. He also talked about his early days and how he got to the point where now he's bridging the gap between rock and roll and country music. Riley Keough has announced a book tour in support of the late Lisa Marie Presley's upcoming memoir. The memoir was partially written by Presley and later finished by her daughter Keough upon request. It's due for release on October 8th. You can pre-order a copy of From Here to the Great Unknown. The finished book sees Keo telling her mother's story through Presley's own words via tape recordings and Keo's own reflections of her relationship with her mother. Paying tribute to her mother, Lisa Marie Presley, going out on the book tour, she'll be joined by currently unnamed special guests at each of the tour stops. That includes six dates in October in New York, Graceland, St. Louis, Nashville, London, and Los Angeles. James Hetfield has revealed what he learned from Metallica's nonprofit work via their All Within My Hands Foundation. 
calling it the corniest lesson, but that it was still true. Named after a track on their 2003 album, St. Anger, the group started the organization in 2017, aiming to assist and enrich the lives of members of the communities who have supported the band for years, as well as to encourage participation from fans and friends. In a recent episode of the Metallica Report, James Hetfield explained that the foundation logo included a key entering a lock to give access to the, quote, knowledge of that it's better to give than to receive. As corny as it sounds, James continued, there's not really a better feeling in the world than helping someone else and doing it without telling about it. It goes against everything that humans are. I need this. You give me that. I need to take this, especially growing up in a band that was struggling, fighting for the only towel in the motel or whatever it was. There's a can of food there. I better get mine or else. Saying that the best thing about the foundation's work is, quote, the ability to sponsor people into restarting their life or giving them a sense of hope, giving them a trade that they can take anywhere in the world and feel that they are worthy. And that's your sit rep. For more details on all of the stories, check the links in the show notes of this episode. And don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to the Mistress Carrie podcast. New full-length episodes come out every Wednesday. Episode 217 featuring Slash is available now.